I'm going to take a few minutes to show you guys how to uh, take a lab like this uh, and insert these kinds of uh, equations into Microsoft Word and, and do any sort of superscript or subscript. I'm going to just take a couple minutes on that. So let's look at a couple things first. First, let's look here. We have uh, T squared, and it's just within the, the text. So to do that, is a little bit different. That's just really simple. I'm just going to simply type in capital T. I'm going to come up here to the superscript, uh, hit that, put in a two, and then hit the superscript again, and you can put in a space, and, and there you got it. So let me get rid of that, and that's the simple. Uh, if it's that simple, then, uh, then it's pretty straightforward. But here we have T equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G, and it looks nice and neat. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to basically just come over here, put a couple spaces in, and show you how I did that just right in that space right there. So I'm going to come up here to Insert, and I'm going to go to Equation. This is uh, Microsoft Word 2010, I believe. So in the older versions, it's going to look a little bit different, but it's still the same general idea. You would still go to Insert, and you would insert an equation, or if you wanted to, um, you can just go straight to uh, insert a symbol if it's just one symbol. So I'm going to start typing. I'm going to put uh, uh, t equals uh, 2 pi. So I put in the 2. I look for my little pi symbol up here. And sometimes it can really be a, a nuisance to look for those symbols. So there's my pi. And now I have the square root of L over G. And I'm, I'm going to have a, uh, a fraction occur. So I'm going to... I'm going to actually look at this right here. I have a, a radical symbol in a fraction. So I'm going to hit the radical first because that's what pops up first. And I'm just going to select that radical, uh, that square root right there. However, in the square root, I have a fraction. So now I click on the fraction. And you notice that I have the uh, numerator and denominator within the square root. So I click on the numerator and I put in the uh, capital L that I need. I'm going to arrow down. And that brings me right to the uh, the bottom. And I put in my lowercase g. I just have to click off, and and there I have uh, my formula. So that's how I do that. So I'm just going to delete it since I don't actually need it in there. And uh, just for a little bit more practice, we'll do this other one here as well. The t squared equals 4 pi squared over g. I'm going to reproduce that one again right here just to show you another example. Uh, so I'm going to have to go to insert. I'm going to insert an equation. Again, if it was just one symbol, I could simply look for a, a list of symbols. They're usually grouped together as uh, Latin symbols and uh, equation symbols, uh, things like that. So I'm going to go to equation. Uh, it's going to be uh, a superscript sort of thing here. So I'm going to select this one right here. So I'm going to put in, I have to click on where I want to put my T. I can just arrow to the right for the next one. I have that as t squared. Arrow to the right again, and that'll give me out of that superscript uh, section. Put equals. And now I'm going to have a fraction of 4 pi squared over g. So since I have a, a fraction, I'm going to start with that. And I have to click in my numerator, or I could have just arrowed up. And before I even type in anything, Remember that I have 4 pi squared in that numerator, so I'm going to go to the script section here and put in a superscript. And now I can put in my 4 pi, so 4, and then find my pi symbol, which is right there. Oh, and uh, now I put in, I'm going to arrow to the right and make it squared. Arrow down a couple of times, and that brings me to the bottom, the numerator, uh, excuse me, the denominator. Put in my g, arrow to the right, and if I needed to put anything else, I could do that as well, but I don't need that. Click out of it, and I'm done. So I've just reproduced it. And uh, that, those are the basics on how you can uh, put formulas into your Microsoft Word. You can also do that with uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint as well if you have the uh, equation, Microsoft Equation installed. Uh, sometimes that's an extended pack. I think it depends on the version uh, Microsoft Word that you have. Uh, I'm not sure if OpenOffice has that. Uh, you can check to see and uh, let me know. So there you go. That's the lesson.